When people say they have a near-death experience and they see their whole life flashing before them, it's kind of like that constantly, with all the bad stuff standing out. The first time I did an actual full-on cold turkey, it's five days of sheer hell. I was horrendously sick, crawling to the toilet every half an hour with green fluid flying out both ends simultaneously. Sweat went through two thick floor cushions into the carpet. It's really grim. But they didn't last very long because I didn't really want to stop taking it. I wasn't ready. And then things went crazy for about five years. So my last hit, um, it felt kind of like splitting up with a girlfriend that you loved a lot, but who was really bad for you. It felt hard to say goodbye, but I knew that I had to do it. And this is the place that will take everybody in, treat them as humans, patch them up. It's very uncomfortable, it's not pleasant, but it's bearable, it's doable, it's achievable. When this finishes, I will then be moving on to rehab. Now I'll be able to engage with people, look them in the eye. I'll be able to appreciate the beauty of nature, things that I've not noticed for years. Most addicts take, you know, five or six attempts before they actually stay clean for the rest of their lives. But I'm on attempt five now, so <laughs> hopefully it should work out okay. Mm -hmm.